it's like a storm way over there in the island you can hear the thundering it'll be an awesome sunset look how beautiful it looks that way surprisingly there's no no seams here i find that very weird there's this little bugs like little flies that don't do nothing to you you see them flying around just annoying uh but there's no no seams find that very weird this island has no no seams nothing was biting me other than the flies flying around that's it i don't mind the flies as long as they don't eat my food I'll be all right just small showers and look at this it picks one way up here that is 30 miles out the radar as it goes uh, maybe five eight miles the, since the earth is round you lose that range right so I'm able to pick those islands there those over there too but as the earth is round you lose that range but you catch on on the higher parts uh, you can catch up to 30 miles I caught that storm far away from here that's that's very far and very powerful uh, for a boat raider to reach that far so there's one about 15 miles and a small cluster about 30 miles that's that's huge uh, to reach that far I just had to turn the air conditioner on because it's so hot even though it's very breezy it is very, very hot it's like 98 degrees the water was nice very nice it was warm so if you know the water is warm outside it's got to be very warm I gotta set my anchor alarm because I don't want to get any any surprises that's 40 radius 40 that way and 40 this way so I don't want to set the radius too big because I'm very close to the island and by being close it helps on the swells coming from that side right now it's comfortable I hope it stays like this so I can sleep. Today's dinner started with with the escargot. All right, it's boiling. It's gonna be a lot of food today. In the menu, it's gonna be the escargot. It's gonna be a quick appetizer, and then the conch fritters. And then the uh, black snapper that's today's meal and that meal is going to be enjoyed with a little bit of red wine all right they're hot mm, they smell just like the beach it's incredible now i need to take them out of there and sometimes they're kind of hard to take them out ha for that i brought my wife's tweezers she don't know I took the tweezers. But check it out how easy it is to take it out with the tweezers. Look at that. See how easy it is? Very easy. Look at that. With the tweezers. Yep, the tweezers work perfectly. These are delicious. I'll wash the tweezers and I'll put them back. She wouldn't even notice. All the uh, escargots this is all I got that's pretty good it's a nice appetizer the flavor is just incredible and this appetizer I'm gonna have it with wine tastes good with the uh, seafood put a little start incredible taste if you have never tried this try it a little bit of sea salt on it it's like putting the whole ocean in your mouth for flavor this is cargoes they breathe the ocean all the time so this is what you're gonna taste you're gonna taste the ocean
Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful fillets of black snapper. In the conch, there's been already been tenderized. I'm gonna have a plantain. Let's grab a beer that I have here. Put a little bit of beer. All right, I'm gonna make this as an appetizer. I'm gonna eat it before the meal. So now I'm gonna place the um, conch onto the um, batter. Let me do something. This could be just the meal right here. Look how nice that looks. Now with the conch is cooking, I'm gonna place all these fillets in here. I'm gonna slightly batter them. And the little fillets are the red snapper. Just mix it up. All right, the sun is falling. And I'm cooking right now the conch that I caught right there. Literally, I'm cooking the conch that I got right there within 50 feet of from the water. Get any fresher than that. It's gonna be a beautiful night. See this movement right here? I don't mind. It's kind of choppy, but the boat is hardly moving. If you look at it, it's hardly moving. I can sleep with that very easy. All right, that's the conch fritter right there. It smells really good. You wanna put the plantains over there? Let's see how this tastes. Look at that, how it breaks apart. Much bitters. Wow, what a taste. Swimming on the waters two hours ago. Mm. When you hit it with the tenderizer and hammer, it breaks apart. Look at that. What an incredible taste. Mm. Crunchy. I'm cooking the sustonish right now, so I gotta go outside. Please don't eat this. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a little while. Down here, the crunch. Look, see? Hit it with the tenderizer hammer. And when you eat it, that hard muscle is already broken apart. Alright, got this. I'm gonna put the fish to fry while I squish these plantains. And the food is almost done. This place reminds me of uh, with the birds. It reminds me of Great Eyesight. I slept there one night. It was awesome. Very quiet, just like this. Very quiet. The boat is moving a little bit, but it's okay, nothing I can't handle. All right, there's the fish, black snapper, fried plantains, and a little bit of wine. And of course, some tartar sauce. I'm gonna try the red snapper, which is this one, and the black snapper to see how, what's the difference. There's a difference, but it's not that much. Mm. 
the only difference I can take is the size. This fish was just caught today, four hours ago, and the night already fallen already. I could not eat the last fillet, so I'm gonna save it for breakfast. It was just a little bit too much. Just one fillet, too much, which is not bad. So it was good to have plenty of food when you're on board. You never want to lack up of food because you're out there and you don't know what's gonna happen. You're gonna have enough food to uh, survive. It's the best way to survive. A little bit of wine, your fish, scar goats, conch, crab plantain, and some tartar sauce. Clean up. Security walk. There's a light right there. A green light that they put up. It looks like for people to miss the K, because a lot of people can't. But you know what? That light is a little low. The shrubbery is about to get to it. It would be nice if that light was a little higher, but it's better than nothing. Because right now, you can see the K. And way over there, I can see Walker's K. There's a little flashing red light. Probably a buoy. First time spending a night here. I love it here. It's very nice. Very quiet, very secluded. Nobody around this cave. I cooked my awesome meal. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and uh, make some coffee. And last night I was so tired I just went to sleep at 9.30 I believe. I just went straight to sleep. I didn't sleep more than two hours. But tonight I'm all rested. So I'm gonna stay awake for a little bit. Awesome day, good fishing. I got beat up by some sharks, but other than that, I got uh, two black snappers and uh, one yellow eye snapper. It was good, I mean, I lost several fish probably to the sharks but that's just the way it goes love this skate here i wish i can get inside that little hole there where the waves are coming in but it's pretty dangerous to go in there you really really have to probably go up with a rope that's how bad it is if you go in there you're gonna have some difficulties uh coming out without a rope it's gonna be a beautiful night and even though it's windy it's probably about 10 miles per hour winds 10 to 12 maybe um, the boat is rocking but not as much I'm at 4.6 feet of water it's not bad really reminds me of uh, Great Isaac because Great Isaac uh, it was just like this it was just a little K some birds isolated but the only difference is that there's um, people there at Walker's K and back over here to the other side six miles or five miles you can get fuel there it's just a small little town and a good thing is that those little flies at nighttime, they disappear. It's very weird. During the daytime, they're in the island. During sunset, they want to attack the boat and try to come inside the boat, especially when you're cooking. Uh, and they really bother you. They really, really bother you. But at nighttime, like right now, they're gone. They disappeared. Very weird creatures. So they're little, little tiny, tiny. Man, I wish I can show you one. Uh, they're in the island, uh, especially next to the shrubbery. And when sunset is starting to happen, they're very calm, very active, and they want to come inside the boat. I have air conditioner, so I close the door, so they're trying to come in. 
But now, after sunset, they're dying. They don't come out anymore. But these flies are just weird. They just, they have their own schedule. Fresh beans. All right, for the trick today, I have some uh, cream-filled puff pastry. Can't go wrong with puff pastry. You can't go wrong with it. Always use brown sugar. Better, it's healthy for you. Check it out. It's brown sugar. It's healthier. It's raw sugar. Not just all brown sugar. Raw sugar. It's the best. It's healthier. I'm not a doctor. But I'm not a captain either, so I'm an underground captain. Let's see what they look like. Oh, they're individually wrapped. What do you know? Look at that, it's just a big old puff pastry bar. I like it. It's just a pastry filled with chocolate cream. Delicious. Coming here was very, very difficult uh, for me to try new waters. I don't know the grounds, the shallows, where the rocks are. I don't know none of that. So I'm exploring a new place. I stepped outside and I stepped back in here. And it literally smells like a Starbucks in here. I'm charging the batteries right there with that outlet right there through the generator charging the electric reel as you see right there I'm charging my three lithium batteries so I'm charging three batteries here two batteries there with a generator and back here I'm charging the boat battery and the fridge batteries right there so right now I'm charging nine batteries at the same time and also running the air conditioner and also charging other things camera equipment phone also my electronics the lights interiors the lights outside i consume so much power so that's 2500 watts and it runs everything with no problem now the 2200 watt generator doesn't do it for me the 2500 has more power to run everything that i have here so a lot's going on inside the Crooked Pilot House. At nighttime, it's just a circus of power use. A lot of power use to charge everything. Like today I was using the Jeep Route electric reel rod. Also, the onboard battery, Minn Kota batteries, the fridge battery has been running all day without charging. At nighttime, it becomes a circus in here to charge up all these batteries. Meanwhile, I'm using power to make coffee, uh, do lots of things in here. Earlier, I saw a light over there of a boat. The boat had a light, which it was weird because it had a light that was powerful. And then uh, it disappeared. And it has no more lights. It's weird. Tonight I'll be doing some night watches often. I wake up every two hours and do a security walk around the boat. Make sure everything is clear, prop clear. And um, go back to sleep. I do need my sleep. And I have my anchor alarm very close to shore. So the radius is 80 feet, 40 on each direction, 80 feet. But I'm very shallow waters. Right now the tide went up, it's 6.8 but earlier was 4.6. So that means that the tide is going up. I have channel 16, which is meaningless. Nobody answers here, the channel 16. I find it very weird. Nobody talks on channel 16. I already asked for a radio check and nobody communicates. That means that nobody cares. Everybody shuts their radio off. So I guess I'm gonna shut mine off too. There it is. And where do I keep all my drinks? I mean, all my beverages, I need to keep it in a place that is safe. Well, in here, I keep all my beverages in here. This is my pantry. So I need to take out water 
and drinks. We got beer in here, water, tea. I always got it every day. Stock up the fridge. It's a daily routine that I need to do. Not a lot of room in this fridge. But I make it happen. So I have to do that every night because the fridge is not as big. So I have to stock it up every night so I will have cold drinks for the next day. Something I gotta do every night. So I get here almost about 10 to 15 drinks per day, which is enough uh, to keep me hydrated. And in the freezer, I got some frozen meat, also some bait in there. I also got bait in the cooler outside, but I got frozen bait in here too. Oh, the moon is coming out. You can feel this vapor of heat. It's not a full moon, it's getting smaller. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Anchor alarm drag. Expand the uh, anchor alarm a little bit more. It's raining now. It's, uh, it's about two in the morning. lightning. antenna 
and also the fishing rod. There it is. Whoa. Now it's going, now the storm's in the back. also rocky bottom so that doesn't help sometimes with the anchor getting a good grip there look how worse it got that was a small cluster but it brought a lot of lightning see right now it's still lightning that was the worst part even though that little spot but you can see the colors are more intense And if you want to find any of the items that I use on my video, I place the link in the description below. All right, guys, I'm going to take some rest now and I continue this trip on the next video. And if you did like it, please don't forget to thumb it up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.